We begin with our top story this morning. Lebanon's health minister says the death toll from an Israeli airstrike in Beirut has climbed to 31. Three children and seven women were reportedly killed. Today, Hezbollah, backed by Iran, said a second senior commander was also among those killed in the attack. This week, the Hezbollah chief said the militant group suffered an unprecedented blow after pager and walkie-talkie explosions in Lebanon and Syria killed at least 37 people. More than 3,000 were wounded. Chris Livesay is in Tel Aviv. Chris, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. It's been a week of one catastrophe after another for Hezbollah. First, it was exploding pagers, then exploding walkie-talkies. And yesterday, it was the killing of a top commander of the Iran-backed group, all of it raising fears of a full-blown war. The Israeli airstrike ripped through the heart of Beirut's southern suburbs, Hezbollah's stronghold. Lebanese authorities said three children and seven women were among those killed. The target, Hezbollah commander Ibrahim Akil, wanted by the U.S. for his role in two bombings in 1983 that killed more than 300 people at the U.S. Embassy in Beirut and the U.S. Marine Corps barracks. And this morning, Hezbollah announced it was also mourning 14 other militants killed in the blast, including senior commander Ahmed Wahabi. Thud. We were in northern Israel, where clashes with Hezbollah are heating up at the border with Lebanon. All right, so those are rockets being intercepted by Israel. Rockets flying from just over there on the Lebanese side of the border from Hezbollah into Israel. And it appears they're being intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome defenses. Yoni Yacobi's family has farmed this land for three generations. But with Hezbollah just a few hundred yards away, clashes have become relentless since last October. His village abandoned. Some 70,000 Israelis have been displaced from the northern border. This week, the military made bringing them home an official aim of the war. But aren't you worried that having a full-blown war would completely destroy your village? It's maybe, maybe. But this is my home. This is my house. Where am I going? The U.S. is calling on both sides to de-escalate. However, Israel's defense minister says this, quote, new phase will continue until our goal is achieved, the safe return of the residents of the north to their homes. Nancy. Chris Lipsay, thank you.